Yeah, because it would be so interesting to just feed the chat GPT all my business data, like everything I have from Slack messages and everything, and just say, how can I improve my business? You know, if it could just put money in my bank account, that'd be cool too. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it doesn't conduct podcasts. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but that is one thing that I think will not go away for a while. The human to human interaction, I think we'll do that all the way through the AI apocalypse. So <laughs> uh, look, I, you're right. <laughs> I, you know, it's funny. I've been a part of big transformations for most of my career, going in, driving big change in companies. And it's interesting to me that you could talk about business processes. You could talk about technology, transformational approaches. You could talk about going to the cloud, or you could talk about these things. But at the end of the day, we are wired to sit around that campfire and tell each other stories and connect at a level that is meaningful that you don't get out of a business book or you don't get out of a, a technology application. You don't get out of AI. And I think understanding that that human dynamic and being able to connect with those, with the humans around you to be able to drive the passion or, you know, ignite the fires inside people to drive that transition is probably the most important thing. At least that's what I found as a CTO. That's the raw natural resource that you want to go fight for. 